In this video, we are going to learn how an economy works. We have three economic agents that play a major role in a country's economy. They are firms, government and household. Let's first understand the role of a firm. To understand this topic, we are going to take an example of a capitalist country. In a capitalist country, production activities are mainly carried out by capitalist enterprises. In other words, we call them business tycoons, like how in India we have the Ambani's, the Tata's, the Birla's, etc. Countries like United States, Canada, France, Germany, they are a good example of a capitalist economy. In a typical capitalist enterprise, there is one or several entrepreneurs. They are people who exercise control over major decisions and bear a large part of the risk associated with the firm. These people are mostly founders, CEO, chairman, etc. From here on, let's assume you are a CEO or a founder or a chairman. To run a firm, money is required, right? We call it capital. Sometimes you will use your own savings, your own money in the form of capital and supply it to run the enterprise. Or you may borrow the capital from institutions like banks or other private financial investors in the form of loans with interest, alright? Now that you have sorted out the money part, you need to carry out production, basically make something. For that, you will need natural resources. Some part of it will be consumed during production because some percentage of raw material will be lost in making the final product. Then there is another part which is going to be fixed. You will be needing a piece of land, some electricity, then some water, etc. These are necessary utilities and they are essential. That's why they are fixed. Now you need another important element to carry out your production, basically human manpower. We refer to this as labor. So far we have built three factors, capital, production and labor. After using all these three factors, you will be producing something. We will refer to that as output. Now you as a business owner, you would like to sell the product in the market. The money that is earned is called revenue. After earning revenue, you will have to divide this revenue. Part of this revenue is paid out for the services you have rendered like paying rent, electricity, water bill, repair and maintenance of your machineries, etc. Another part of it is paid to capital as interest. Remember the money you borrowed initially from banks and investors? You will have to return them with interest. Then another part of it will go to labor as wages. You have to pay salaries to your employees, right? Now the rest of the revenue that is left is your earning, which we will refer to as profit. Now this profit is often used by the producers in the next period to buy new machinery or to build new factories so that production can be expanded. Who does not want to grow their business? Therefore you will use up your profit next year. We will refer to this as investment expenditure. Alright then, with this we have understood the role of a firm in an economy. Now we will see the role of the government. Apart from the private capitalist sector, there is the institution of state. We refer to this state as government. Now the role of the government includes framing laws, enforcing them and delivering justice. Apart from this, Government also earns revenue by imposing taxes and then it spends the money on building public infrastructure, running schools, colleges, providing health services and many other social schemes. Therefore, to understand the entire economy, these economic functions of the government must also be considered along with the firms. Now, apart from the firms and the government, there is another major agent that makes up the economy, which is called the household sector. By household, I mean a single individual or a group of individuals who take decisions relating to their own consumption. Household consists of people like you and me. These people work in firms as workers and earn wages. These people are also the ones who work in the government departments and earn salaries. They are also the owners of firms and earn profits. Hence the household earns money as wage, they spend, then they save and then they pay taxes. So one part goes to the government the other part goes to the firm for buying their products and the remaining is saved. Hence, we can also say the market and firms could not exist without the demand coming from the household. So far we have described the major players that together makes up an economy. Now there is one more thing that we have to keep in mind and that is countries also engage in external trade wherein you are inviting other countries to enter in your market. Basically dealing with export and import goods and not just goods, sometimes capital also comes in and goes out in the name of foreign investment. And that makes the fourth sector of an economy, which is referred to as external sector. 
So this is how a country's economy works. There is a complex interlink between the economic variables that we spoke about in this video and together as an aggregate it comes under macroeconomics. If you want to see more of such educational content, make sure you're subscribed. By doing so, you'll get an alert when my next video comes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.